Bundy's Garage, Bundy here. Hey, today I'm here with my good buddy Darren. We did a video on uh, the worst diesels, best diesels. They got a lot of hits. People li liked it a lot. Um, they made fun of you saying uh, Cummings? Cummings. Cummings with Cummings? a G at the end. Cummings with a G. He knows how to say it. And he knows how to work on those trucks. So don't get him wrong. He, he knows what he's talking about. Uh, he's Just, part Mexican, right? right? So it is com <laughs> Cummings. Right. Means. <laughs> it's way easier to say than Cummins. And we I have can a, say because I'm Mexican. <laughs> the comedian guy here, yeah. Arnie Viarell. Hi, Diesel. I'm with uh, Diesel USA Group out of Louisville, Kentucky. My uh, sister company is Performance Turbochargers. We are the largest Garrett Master distributor across the nation. Buying a diesel is expensive, like owning a BMW. I like See, it. Okay, real quick. Um, guys ask me, Arnie, you, you, you drive a gas truck, man, right. or a gas car. Why don't Hold you... Hold on one second. Hey. Okay, go ahead. Sorry. Uh, so, guys ask me, Arnie, how come you don't own a diesel? <laughs> and um, I tell them, the cost of repair that I see, I'm selling the product. Right. I don't want that. You know? Right. And, and you all think, yeah, man, I'm killing it here, and I'm making... You know, this amount of money, I could afford it. No, man, right. it's, 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 it's right. expensive. It's for the ta-ta, the rich people. It is, it <laughs> is. I have this conversation because of some of the videos that, you know, made with John. Yeah. People call me from like different states and I'm like, you know, I can't help you. Like my shop's in California and they're like, no, I just want to ask you some questions. And they'll ask me a lot of times about buying a truck, right? What should I buy? Okay, so what do you tell? And the guy's like, I have a boat with a single axle trailer. You know what I mean? A little oh. jet boat, right? You know, like, you know, the big block in it or something, but it's a single axle trailer. How many times did you go to the lake? And they tell me. How many times a year? And tells me, you need a gas truck. You don't need a diesel, right? You don't need it. But now if you tell me you have a big toy hauler and you go out quite often, you need a diesel. Right. But there's people that have a gasoline powered car and they've used it forever and they think, oh man, diesel will be really cool. And they think, well, just replace the fuel filter like you do in your gas truck, right? Well, that's going to be a problem. And when they look at the repair, the service, just the service, they're like, what? To change the oil? I'm like, well, it's not just the oil change. you got to put a fuel filter in it. Sometimes there's two, depending on what it is. Sometimes there's a separator and all those other things. And it needs air filtering. You go on and on. Yikes. So, like, trying to constantly help people understand that only buy a diesel if you need one. Like, if you know you haul heavy stuff all the time or you got a big trailer. Right. And you right. go out with your family a lot and you got a crew cab with a big trailer and you have four kids. You probably need a diesel because that go. gasoline motor is not going to pull it. It'll do it, but the gas mileage will be horrible and you can go really slow. So I do think there's a reason. But I mean, what I see in diesel now, what we see is it's the emissions. Before EGR coolers were one thing, especially on commercial truck, it's even worse. But EGR coolers fail, right? They get hot, cold, hot, cold, hot, cold, and they fail. That's a big price. But then, you know, DPF parts, those are expensive. Ooh. And now, like, you know, the trucks have an SCRs in them. You know, if you got to put def fluid in it, there's an SCR in there. Right. That thing's super, you know, that's not cheap either. So I think that you're right. If you, if you say, like, is it like owning a BMW? I think uh, my nephew bought a Ford, like, not the King's Ranch, but like one down on it was platinum or whatever. And he went to, to Nevada to buy it to get a deal. And I think he paid 74000 Holy but somebody God. said that like King's Ranch top of the line Ford, you know, crew cab diesel is like 80 some thousand dollars. And I'm thinking, yeah, unless you need that diesel engine, yeah. why, why would you? I, I will tell you this. I'm a diesel shop. My truck has a gasoline <laughs> engine in it, right? Yeah. We don't do anything with it. We, we go and get parts with it. We drive it, you know, when, when See, you got to go. That's why I drive a gas right, when you gotta, truck like, when or you a gotta, car. Right, when you got to go to Lowe's, I'm just putting plywood in the back. Like, you know, we're not no, hauling not, grain or something. Not every day. Right, right, you right. Know? So I don't know. My so, wife's not 400 pounds. Right, right. So, you know. <laughs> so I definitely agree with that. It, it's expensive, but, but there is there is a need. Okay. You know, All but right. even like someone like, so say that truck right over there that you can't see off camera, that thing blew up. And he's like, what do you think I should do? And I said, well, I know what you haul. I think you should buy a gasoline engine. He's like, I could, because that is expensive and whatever. And so he said, hey, you know, he called me today. He said, hey, thank you for the advice. I bought a gas engine. You know, they put it in those Azuzas, that 6.0 Chevy engine, GM engine. He's like, the guys are happy with the power, this, that. I go, wait till you have to service it. We're going to put an oil filter on it, put some oil in it, and maybe put an air filter and lube the truck. You know, because the, the ones that he had, that diesel, they had separators, they had fuel filters, they had oil filters. 
you know, and some of the things, it gets expensive. So right. um, I, I think a lot of people will turn to gas because of the emissions. But I look at this, and this is my last thing because I know I'm going on about this, is that okay. do you remember smog laws when yes. in the 70s? Because we're mm -hmm. about the same age, right? They couldn't get it right, man. I'm horsepower. Two years younger than No, you. stop. <laughs> so, so the horsepower went way down, right? And they yeah. sucked. Cars sucked. Oh, I mean, yeah. They sucked. And now you look, and I got one of those Hellcats, and it's like smog legal, and it's got 700 horsepower. They crushed it, right? I think diesel will get there one day, right? Where they're going to make great oh, DPF. Right. I hear the same thing. They, yes. They're going to figure it out. Because you uh -huh. figure the first D, D, uh, DPF truck I had was a 2008. So that's only, what, 12 years ago? Right. They need more time. I think when they get more time in it, they'll, they'll get them better. And once they can get the reliability, Good. we're not replacing those parts, I think it'll get cheaper.